Hello friends, this is Chalpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Zevi. In this video, we are going to check about the C Sharp 9.0 feature, which is called Top Level Statement. So let's uh, directly jump into the Visual Studio and see what are the Top Level Statement feature is. So what I am going to do is, I am going to create a new project and a console app. And I am going to create a console app called top level statement. Then it's going to load the project. So here you can see like it has created this class programs, then static void main, and then we are writing some statement. But with the C sharp top level statement, you don't need to write all these stuffs. You can directly write like this console or right line and hello world right now if you run this statement right now it's giving me error because this is c sharp 8.0 so here they, they are saying top level statement is not available in c sharp 8.0 please use the language 9.0 or the version of the greater so for that what we need to do is we need to go to solution explorer and we need to go to the properties of a particular project so here you can see uh, it is uh, targeting the dotnet core 3.1 so now we have dotnet 5.0 so we are going to use that and now if you uh, run, run this application so here you can see now the release and everything is gone and errors are gone so here you can see like hello what is has been printed so now you don't need to write anything uh, related to uh, the classes and the main entry port and it, under the hood it will automatically create those statements so now let's check uh, whether it supports class or not so let's let me create the class and then i am going to create a, pro a, pro a property called fastme and we are also going to uh, create another property that is class name. Now what we are going to do is we are going to create a class called a person equal to new person, right? And then we are going to do first name called to Excel page, and we are going to say last name is called to Vadgam, right? That is my name. And so let's write down the person class so person name so person name first name is equal to and we are going to make this string as a interpolated so we can write person dot first name and let's also write the last name also console dot write line Person last name, and then we are going to write this person dot last name. And here we need to make dollar here, and there is a typo. Okay, and now we are going to also wait for read key. Okay. Now let's again run this application and see what happened. So here you can see it is printing hello world and then printing uh, the first name and last name of a person class. So any statement which are there is valid for this uh, top level statement. But there are some limitations of the top level statement. So what we are uh, going to see in the next slide is the limitation so in c sharp 9.0 uh, top level statements elements uh, like uh, it removes the unnecessary code which are required but the limitation is uh, like this top level statement can be only applied to one and only files and if you put uh, that in multiple files then it will give error and also it will also give the error if you write uh, the main method just like uh, earlier like for this application we used to have 
main method so if you combine those two things together then it will give you error so that is uh, the two limitations you need to consider when you use the top level statement so where we can use this kind of top level statement so basically like when you are doing some teaching let's say you are uh, uh, giving a demonstration to the freshers or the junior developers about the c-sharp feature at that time uh, you can save lots of time by not writing uh, uh, the basic uh, boilerplate code instead of that like you can directly focus on the c-sharp features and uh, uh, and you can uh, save time uh, to write the code so that is what uh, top level statements are it's just provide uh, a javascript like a console where you can directly write the things which matters instead of writing some boilerplate code so there are lots of other features also there in c sharp 9 so i am going to co cover all this feature in the future video so stay tuned for the future video and thank you for uh, watching this video and if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel this is the url for my channel thank you again and see you in the next video